Hello everyone, and let's talk about the worlds of the Warcrafts and why does everyone hate it so much? Because every time I do a stream or every time I do a video with WoW in it or put WoW footage in it, which I was playing at the weekend, I've spent most of the weekend playing WoW because it was the Time Walker Dungeons weekend and I really like the Time Walker Dungeons. I love the fact that it takes away gear and, you know, there's more skill in it, although WoW players, you know, they'll do anything to negate skill, essentially, with gear, with their old legendaries and whatnot, and there's like a ways to gear up for Time Walker Dungeons, which is kind of sad, because they ain't that hard, if we're honest. You just have to pay attention and not go crazy. And you see a lot of people do that. Every, every dungeon I've been in, people have died and caused wipes. If you pull an extra, extra trash, you're gonna die. I like that. I like that approach because I hate people who just run in and just pull everything and just AOE it down. For me, it feels less skillful, but let's get back to the, uh, the topic at hand and talk about why do people hate World of Warcraft? Is it because you're jealous of its success? I get a lot of people when I do, because I do mostly Swotar videos. Uh, it's, oh, it's, WoW's terrible. You get them on the stream, leaving the comments, oh, WoW sucks. Oh, people still play this? And it's like, yeah, it's still, still the most play, still the number one MMO out there. Despite, you know, it's been on a rapid decline, particularly over the last, uh, the last year, we would say. Well, since, like, January, you would argue and say it has been on a rapid decline. Did go back up to 10 million subscribers. Uh, when Warlords of Draenor launched last November, and then just ooh, fell downhill. Uh, reasons uh, for that, we're not going to cover the reasons for that in this video. We're mostly here to discuss why do people hate it? Are they just jealous because it's a successful MMO? It's the MMO that everybody talks about. It is the, the game that gets most coverage, certainly in the genre, but it is the most popular game, so it is going to dominate. And it is, you got to say, Blizzard are excellent at marketing okay they don't do anything unique okay that's i think that's blizzard's success is they had a really good name in warcraft you know warcraft was an rts game before it became wow before it became world of warcraft uh you know it was a pretty good rts game i liked it i like warcraft 3 i played a lot uh back when back when you had a pc back in the sort of 90s when you know you didn't have a 3d graphics accelerator you know a graphics card as it's known now it was 3d hardware acceleration that's too expensive it was back in the day back when we had a voodoo fx uh graphics card they were good cards back in the day then people were like well, what the fuck are they you know i've got a gtx titan it's like well yeah but the voodoo fx was like the gtx titan of its time you know, I remember that you had like a family PC and the only games you could really play were RTSs. So I played like Command and Conquer, Civilization, Warcraft, you know, these were the games you played and they were good games. You know, I got into those games. I quite like Warcraft. It was a cool game. It had a good story on the cool things. I always liked the story with Arthas and it was cool to go and see him in WoW again and go and kill him. You had to kill him, of course, in World of Warcraft. I never really played WoW that much, to be honest. Played it a little bit little bit when it launched. I think it was about two or three months after it launched. Uh, I think I played it. I thought, I played a rogue and I'm like, I'm not fucking buying poisons. And then I just subscribed for a month and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to pay monthly for it. Nah, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. Go back to playing Halo 2 because it was a choice. Halo 2 or World of Warcraft. And I was like, eh, all your friends played Halo 2. So obviously you're going to play Halo 2. Uh, but yeah, so my history with WoW and Warcraft is, yeah, a little bit kind of uh, on and off, on off relationship we've had with WoW. And I, I quite like, I like going back and seeing the old content at level. It's actually not a bad idea and it's similar to what Swotar is doing in 4.0 that everyone's hating on them. What is their whole end game really is to go back and do the old content. That's why people are hating on it. Everyone's hating on it because you got to go back and do the old content again, but that's it, you know, wow, it's just a weekend event, or a week-long event, something, it's like five days at last now, I want that mount, I want that horse mount, and uh, the Wrath of the Lich King one I really want, it's back on October 21st, that's why I'm doing it, that's why I'm doing these Time Walker dungeons, and I'm going to stream them, I'm going to stream them, and I'm, yeah, I am using them for background footage, because uh, I 
you know, that's that's what I got. You know, I see either that or use the same Swotor footage over and over again, and I don't think that's a very good idea. So yeah, we'll just use WoW as the background footage, and you can just like it. Just bloody well like it. You know, it's fine. You, you don't have to pay attention. Just minimize the video. Listen to the audio content. There you go. You'd have to look at World of Warcraft. I think a lot of people, uh, you could have the other people who have been burned by WoW. I think that's the other camp of people that hate WoW is they've just been burned so badly by it or they just hate it so much. Maybe they're worn out and it, you know, it's ground them down. It is a grindy game. It is very, very grindy. Blizzard love grind. They certainly do. They love their grindy content. That mount in the uh, Time Walker Dungeons is a great example. It costs 5,000, uh, what is it? Time. Time, time, time walker badges, or whatever the hell it is, the badge, I can't remember what they're called. And, you know, you get those, uh, it's 5,000 of them, and you get 500 when you do the first one. Okay, they give you a little taster, give you a little, uh, little sample of the cocaine, and then they get you addicted, and now you're sitting there selling everything you own just to get more subscription time. It's like, it's like crack, MMOs and, Drugs, they're very similar to the way they operate. Give you a free sample, here's some Time Walker badges, and ah, oh, you're addicted now. Staying up to 4 a.m. just to farm them and screaming at the queue time because it takes two minutes to queue as a healer. That's wrong. Okay, don't do that. I didn't do that, honestly. You know, I didn't do it. Even though you did get a nice Hellfire normal cash at the end of after doing five of them, it's never enough. There you go. Look, yeah, they entice you in. Tice you in with the drugs. That's their Blizzard marketing. That's what they do. Uh, but WoW is, it's not a very unique MMO. It never was. Even when it launched, it was just EverQuest 2 with Warcraft, really, essentially. That's what it was when it launched back in the day. Uh, but again, Blizzard are very, very good. They're very good at marketing. They're very good at making you want to play their product. They are very good at that. Same with WoW, Diablo, I've never played StarCraft, I've never really been into that, to be honest with you. Diablo's another one that I got into, uh, trying it again with Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm these days. So they're very, very good at that, and I guess people don't like to feel like they're being manipulated into playing that. Maybe that's another reason why people hate it, but just hating it because it's on top, I don't think it's a good idea, to be honest with you. Um, I don't get all the hate. For World of Warcraft, I mean, especially if you're playing SWOTOR, because they're the fucking same game. Let's be honest with you, the same fucking game, practically. It's just a different setting. One's set in space, the other set in space, technically. One you go to other planets, and the other one you go to another planet and another dimension. But yeah, they're the fucking same. Well, there you go, they're the same. Just thought about that there. They're the same game, aren't they? You know, there's no space travel. There's no space travel in SWOTOR either. Unless you count space PvP. But anyway, there you go. So that is my opinion on why people don't like WoW. Why I, I think it's alright. You know, why it has its moments where it's awesome and it has its moments where it's awful. I quite like it. I haven't really, I not, don't really play WoW. I don't raid in WoW. To be honest with you, I don't really read. I haven't even done Hellfire Citadel LFR. Shows you how little I care about reading. But I did like the dungeons. I do like the. Uh, I like the dungeons. I like level. I like the. Um, I like rolling other classes and going in and doing mount farming and transmog. I love transmog. Love me transmog runs. You know, you gotta look good. You know, okay. If you look at my. Character, I'll, I'll, I might put a link to the armory up where you can see all my characters and you can see item enchants? Nah, transmog? Hell yeah, that shows you how much. Filthy casual? Filthy casual in WoW. So anyway, that is all for this video and stop hating, you know. If you don't like WoW, just don't watch the videos, okay? Don't watch the stream. Come, Don't, don't leave a nasty comment. There you go, that's my advice for you. Because we ain't gonna stop playing WoW, to be honest with you. We're still gonna play Swotor, but, you know, it's nice to diversify. Okay, so thank you for joining me. I'll see you again soon and goodbye.